Hey everyone, Neil here. Um, welcome to the first video. I had previously recorded some of these, but the audio didn't come out right, and I wasn't satisfied with them, so I'm doing some re-recording, and we're going to get started with our 1.8.9 Minecraft modding. Now, this is a pretty straightforward episode, and honestly, there's a bazillion episodes out there, so I'm going to kind of keep this one short and sweet. Um, really what we're going to talk about is the editor that we're going to use. We're going to uh, go to uh, Minecraft Forge. We're going to get the files that we need to set up our workspace. We're going to talk a little bit about Java. So, without further ado, pull up our little browser here. Navigate to files.minecraftforge.net. You're going to want to come down to uh, latest or recommended. It's up to you. I've been using the latest simply so that way um, I can see um, all of the individual functions and stuff like that uh, that they've made progress on. It might be a little buggy. That's okay. If we run into bugs, we'll do some Googles. We'll figure it out as we go along. So go ahead and download one of those. I've actually, as you can see, I've already downloaded it and I've moved it to the folder where I'm going to be basing all of my work out of and I've got it right here. So we'll come back to that in a second. Next thing we want to do, do a Google search for JDK and we're going to want to pretty much just click the top link here where it says Java SE and we're going to want to look for the JDK right here. So we can actually just go to that, we can download it. Um, I'm running a 64-bit operating system. Click accept license agreement. You can download the file right here. I've already done it. I'm up, I'm running, I'm ready to go. Once you have that installed, you may need to go and check to make sure that your environment variables are set up. I'm on Windows 10. This should work on Windows 8. Um, what I'm going to do is go to control panel. And then from there, I'm going to go to system. Right here, you can see under system type, whether it's 32-bit or 64-bit, download the appropriate one. I'm going to go into advanced system settings. From there, I can click on environment variables, and then I can see the system variables that I have. Here, you'll see my Java home path, and there's a path down here as well. I don't know if Java shows up in here. It doesn't for me, uh, so I don't have any troubles. Um, if you do run into trouble, just comment below and we'll work through it. Sweet. So, we'll get rid of that. And we'll get rid of that. Next thing we need to do, of course, is come and get Eclipse. Pretty straightforward. You get here, you go to download. Um, you can do the IDE for Java EE uh, Enterprise Edition, or you can just do the IDE down here. Find a place to put that. I put it into my program files folder, um, created a little shortcut to it here. Off we go. So the first thing that we want to do is we're going to open up that Forge file that we downloaded and moved into our folder. And I am going to be using this folder for the work that I do with all of you. And I'm just going to grab all of this. I'm going to drag and drop it over here. And there we go. Sweet. Um, what we want to do next is... Uh, we can hold down shift and right click in here and you'll give us an option to open a command window here. So we'll go ahead and do that. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to type in Gradle W setup, capital D, decomp, capital W, workspace, and then eclipse, lowercase. And we're going to let that run. And as you kind of look in the background here, what you're going to see is you're going to see some folders start populating in this folder right here. And really what's happening is Gradle's going out. It's grabbing all of the, the, the Minecraft source, the stuff that we need to set up our environment, get everything going. You'll see that mine has some stuff that says that it's skipped, and that's because I have multiple folders back here. I already have a Gradle environment set up uh, for Minecraft modding on my computer, and I'll kind of explain um, what that means here in a second once we get started. This shouldn't take too terribly long. Feel free to skip ahead if you want to while we're waiting for this to get 
while we're waiting for this to get rolling. Ah, big stretch. I just realized that I don't have a beverage. I'm going to step away for a quick moment, and I'm going to grab a beverage. I will be right back. There we go. Nice, cool, refreshing cherry Pepsi. Ah. Forgive my bodily functions and noises as we go through this. Just my mic there. Come on, hurry up, thingy. We got work to do. Working, working, working. Do, do, do. Oh, I think we're getting close. Sweet deal. So, we're done there. Um, you should already have your... Uh, development environment downloaded. I'm going to go ahead and open mine up right now and I'm going to navigate to the folder that I want which is production and then Eclipse. We're going to open that up. Sweet. Here we are. A couple little things that I like to do. I like to get all this crap out of the way. So that way I just have this nice big open environment ready to use. There we go. Cool. Alright, so there's a couple other things. This is where folks normally stop. Hey, you've got you've got your uh, environment downloaded, your workspace, everything set up, everything ready to go, you're ready to start modding. This is where they stop. Um, and uh, move on to the next video where we build our main mod class. There's, there's some things that I actually want to do here before we get started because we're going to be using um, a lot of the files out of this guy right here, the Forge source, right? This is pretty much uh, the source of Minecraft, right, that we're going to be working out of. Now, you're going to come up here and you're going to see that there is a file path associated with this, right? So, um, what we want to do is, will this work? I think this will work. It will work. It gives us this path right here, right, to our source that we're using. So we're going to copy everything before Forge Source. We're going to open up a new file explorer window. And then from there, we can just paste that in here. Go away, kitty. I don't want you on my lap right now. And really what we want to do is we want to look for that source that we just pointed to. So let me come back and take another quick peek here. So it is 1739 sources.jar. 1739 sources.jar. So what we're going to do, we're going to right click on this. You can use 7-zip, you can use WinRAR. I'm going to use WinRAR. And what we're going to see here is um, this is essentially just that. It's the source for my Minecraft. What we want to do is we want to take this assets folder and we want to dump it into the main folder that we're working out of for our modding. Now I've already done this for both assets and textures, but really what we can do is we can come in here, we can drag and drop that bad boy over here. Now, why do we do this? Well, with 1.8, you have to use uh, JSON files to, um, to model and texture everything that you put into the game, right? So we're going to be referring to these vanilla assets quite a bit, especially with the block states. Um, we'll be in models, 
and then we'll be of course in textures and it's just nice to have these textures in here um, available for you to use so like we can come down here and we have our diamond or PNG right so we can use like paint.net or something like that we can modify this texture um, and resave it as texture that we want to use and it's really going to save us a lot of trouble as I said in my past videos I'm not a real big uh, 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 like creative guy I don't want to say I'm not a creative guy I'm not great with artwork right so a lot of a lot of the stuff that um, texture wise you're gonna see is, is pretty half-assed for me um, hey if any of you want to volunteer and make textures for me I'm totally down I'll like send you file names and whatnot and you can send them back um, just kidding not really um, so going back here to uh, where we were boy mod development so I have this assets folder in here um, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that now because I already actually have it uh, down here and I have it just the Minecraft so I got rid of the forge and the Minecraft forge uh, the next thing that I do is I will come into Minecraft and assets then Minecraft and then into textures and I will essentially just copy this textures folder out to here so that way I don't have to dig too deep into the assets folder to get them. Again, you'll see I have all of those uh, right here, so I'll just go ahead and delete that as well. So these are great reference points. Um, I always say, you know, we need a JSON file for an OR. Why don't we just come in uh, to the JSON file that we have in here for Diamond OR and make it as we need it right we can just come in here and we can put in our mod ID which I'll cover this later um, and then we can just have nickel ore and then we'll save that as the JSON file in our own resources directory under uh, block states and we're good to go so saves us saves us quite a bit of trouble with that so that pretty much wraps it up for this video um, we're gonna come back we're gonna check out um, how to build this mod class and start getting everything set up. So I will see you then.